guys. Okay. So apparently, um, until Death Do Us Parts has a new episode come out. So Ivy, I'm doing it. I felt like absolute shit. And why is this? Why are we feeling like absolute shit? Um, my stomach ached with, with worry and fear. I felt like I was about to puke. I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea what the hell happened. If he was okay. He promised me he would come home, home to me. But it's nearly 2 a.m. and they should have been home hours ago. I had a feeling something horrible happened. Was he hurt? Was he even alive? What the fuck are we talking about? Valentina? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's almost 2 a.m. Maybe we should go to bed. Excuse me, guys. I, I can't, Ralphie. Not until he gets back. Not until I know he's okay. Don't worry, Valentina. They'll bring him home safe. What, what if they don't? But what if something hap that happened to him? <laughs> Shh, don't cry, Val. <laughs> One thing you should know about Alexander Callahan is that nothing, I mean nothing, could kill that bastard. <laughs> Trust me, lots of people tried and failed miserably. <laughs> and no one can fight better than Alex. They don't call him the butcher for no reason. You love him, don't you? My heart stopped at Raphael's blunt question. I knew I had feelings for Alex, but did I love him? I didn't want to admit it. I don't want to admit how much Alex meant to me. Well, I didn't want to admit how, how much Alex meant to me. I didn't want to admit how hard I've fallen for him. Because saying it out loud made it surreal. Of, of course, uh, Alex is my best friend. You know what I meant, uh, Valentina. There's no use denying it. How did you know? <laughs> it's obvious, by the way, you're so wrecked with worry right now. I I just need him to be safe. Okay, Val. I don't know what the hell is going on, y'all. I'm so confused, but it's good. <laughs> he will, Valentina. He will. Hmm, 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 hmm. This is Daddy. We need help over here. the fuck? Shit. Raphael, call the medic now. Uh, Alex? What the fuck? Two days earlier. Okay, tell me something, bitch. Give me something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand what you have to do? Great. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight, Le Levi. God, what am I doing? Should I go to the cops? But this masked guy would reveal my past and hurt my daughter. But she'll understand. Mm, I'm just giving I'm just saving her from that son of a bitch she's married. She married. It's decided then. Tonight I have to kill Alexander Callahan. Come on, Alex. It can't be that bad. Come on. Wait, come out. Let me see you in your outfit. If you don't come out, I'm coming in. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> oh, my God. You look like a slutty Tinkerbell. <laughs> Shut up, you picked it. I know, I'm so glad I won that bet. Can I change now? Hell no. You have to wear that outfit for the rest of the day. That Latina, my reputation. Your men are going to laugh at you behind your back. Hell, they might even laugh in your face. None of my men would dare to disrespect me in that way. Are you sure? Because you look like Dora the Explorer right now. <laughs> You're evil. Uh, I'll take that as a compliment. Come on, Tinkerbell, let's go. Where are we going? To visit Diego. I haven't seen him since the night we were attacked. Miguel says he's been depressed ever since he lost the safe. 
Hold up. You talk to Miguel. Calm down, fairy godmother. <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking him about Diego. He, she's so fucking irritating. I'm supposed to see this. I'm supposed to see the Vegas dressed like this. Of course, this outfit will definitely cheer Diego up. Fuck, I don't want the Vegas to see me like this. Miguel is gonna give me shit. I should just take this off. But a deal's a deal. And this outfit makes Valentina happy. I really love hearing her laugh. Mm -mm, fuck it. <laughs> Valentina, I'm glad you're here. How is he? He's not doing well. Not only is he in pain because of the bullet wound, but he's depressed about the safe. It was our only way to get Sophia back. And he blames himself for losing her. He also blames himself for your attack. What? Oh, he thinks my attack was his fault. You had nothing to do with it. I told him that, but he doesn't believe me. Maybe I could try and cheer him up. How are you going to do that? I got a secret weapon. Stop hiding, Alex. Come over here. <laughs> Don't laugh or say anything, Vega. <laughs> Holy shit, what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> Hold on, you guys, I gotta pull one out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I did not mean to squirt <laughs> milk all over you. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. It was a dare. You look like a tooth fairy. <laughs> Fuck off, Miguel. How's Diego doing? As good as any guy who got shot in the arm and lost any chance to rescue the person they love the most. But I think your little hot, but I think your hot little outfit would cheer him up a bit. Hey, keep your eyes to yourself, Miguel. <laughs> Which room is Diego in? <laughs> second floor. I mean, second door on the left. Let me get this. Theo, you have to eat something. Just take a bite of this sandwich, please, for me. Look, you got shot. You lost the safe. So what? So what? I lost my only way to get Sophia back. Don't you fucking care? She's been gone for three years. Exactly. It's been three years. Knowing the Russian, she's probably dead by now. I moved on a long time ago. Now it's time. it's time you move on. Get out. Diego, get the fuck out, Bianca. That's what your stinking ass get. All you ever care about is Sophia. For the past three years, it's always been Sophia this, Sophia that. But what about me? I don't matter? It's not about you, Bianca. Of course it's not. It's about Sophia. You and Miguel's perfect little angel. Well, guess what, Diego? Sophia's gone. She's as good as dead. Get the fuck over her. Well, as Bianca runs out of the room, she graciously shoves Valentina out the way. Bitch, excuse you, ho. Bitch can't even say excuse me right. <laughs> Why the hell is Diego's room pink? It's not my room, it's Sophia's. Diego. Diego looked horrible. His eyes were bloodshot and rimmed in dark circles. His cheeks were sunken and surrounded by an uncapped beard. God, he looked like he wasn't he hasn't eaten in days. You look horrible. Wow, thanks. I'm just stating the facts, man. This grudge look you got you have really isn't working out. Really, I'm uh I'm not wait, I'm not gonna get uh one laugh out of you. 
Why are you here, Valentina? Well, I heard you were feeling really gloomy lately, so I'm here to ungloom you. I don't want to be cheered up, Valentina. Not after I failed Sophia again. Not after I failed you. Hold up, buddy. There uh, you get that, that ridiculous idea that you failed me. Valentina, I couldn't save you from the other attacker. It's my fault you got hurt. What? My attack wasn't your fault. You were shot. God's sake, you could barely move. It's my fault, Valentina. God, I can't, I still, wait, I can still see the bruises on your cheeks. Well, get over it. I was weak and couldn't help you from getting hurt, just like Sophia. Because of my weakness, I lost the only way to get Sophia back. I wouldn't hold it against you or Sophia if you guys hated me. But really. Oh, but it really doesn't matter what Sophia thinks. She's good as dead. Diego, don't think like that. Just go, Valentina. You're wasting your time with me. Diego, snap. Oh, Diego Vega, snap out of... Out of that shit you're... you're what? Snap out of that shit you're right now. Wait, shut, shut. Oh, snap out of that shit right now. I understand you're upset that you lost the only way to get Sophia back, but you really, but do you really think she would want you moping around like this? Do you really think she would want you to just sit, lose hope when, when you fail? I've been looking for her for three years, Valentina. I think I should, I should have given up a while ago. God, Diego, if you weren't already injured, I would kick you in the balls right now. Come on. Your baby sister is out there waiting for you to rescue her. Your plan failed and you lost the safe. What do you what do we do next? Moan the death of Sophia. <laughs> no, you idiot. We found another way to save her. There's no way that I'll try it and fail. Oh, it's over. Um Let me say. There's there's a thing the Giovannis always do when we're faced with a problem. We never give up. No matter how fucking hopeless or depressed we're feeling, we never give up. I'm not a Giovanni Valentina. Well, you better get off your pathetic ass and start acting like one. <laughs> if this is your idea of a motivational speech, it ain't working. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to make you feel worse, okay? All I'm saying is that you have two choices. You can either continue being pathetic or... Being a pathetic, hopeless bum and actually lose your sister or you can get up, take your freaking shower and help me and help me come up with a plan to save Sophia. You you want to help me save Sophia? Of course I would. But only if you clean yourself up because because like I said, this grudge look really isn't working out. Thank you, Valentina. You really are uh, you you're really bad at cheering people up, but it still works. Wow, thanks. But I'm not done cheering you up just yet. You can come in now. <laughs> mm. Wow, you're the first person that didn't laugh at. <laughs> mm. Mm. Damn. This really made me feel better. Thank you, Valentina. You're welcome. I'm glad my humiliation makes you feel better. Oh, it does. It really does. <laughs> so how's it going, man? Besides my bullet wound, I actually feel better thanks to uh, Valentina. Um, you're really you really lucked out with this with that one. I know, man. Thank God, every, I thank God every day. <laughs> well, I did until she forced me to wear this outfit. Now she's on my hit list. Hey, that's not it's not my fault. You lost that. I begged you not to make me wear any lingerie, but you look so good in it. <laughs> yeah, Bobby, <laughs> it's really sexy. <laughs> Fucking perverts. <laughs> Hell no. At home. Hey, he always playing with his goddamn mate. <laughs> Are you coming in? Come on, it's not that bad. Your brother is laughing at me. 
<laughs> and now you're laughing at me. Mm. I would never laugh at my darling husband. <laughs> Done? I'm sorry, it's just that you look like a slutty Tinkerbell, I know. I would say you look more like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> wow, Alex, I didn't know you <laughs> were a cross-dresser. I've got to admit, it actually looks really good on you. Keep your eyes to yourself, Giovanni. <laughs> I'm not a cross-dresser, I just lost the bet. Sure, keep telling yourself that. So, Val, um, have I told you how much I love, what do you want, Cleo's number? No. Come on, Val, please. Why didn't you ask her at the gala? I did, but she wouldn't give it to me. She said she doesn't want a player. But that's completely inaccurate. I'm the furthest thing from a player. Are you really? No, we're laughing. What? You're full of, you're full of bullshit, Giovanni. I'm telling the truth. Ralphie, please. You slept on more girls than Alex. Inaccurate. Um, weren't you flirting with one of the maids a few seconds ago? Lies. And your, uh, catchphrase is hit it and quit it when you, it comes to girls? Wrong. It's nail it, then bail it. <laughs> hey, that's actually really catchy. Really, boy? Oh, yeah. Well, how about smash and dash? Hmm. Uh, hump it and dump it. <laughs> Fuck it and <then> chuck it. <laughs> smash it and trash it. Thrust it and bust it. I'm so gonna make some of these, those my catchphrases. I mean, Raphael, shame on you for coming up with such cruel and vile catchphrases. <laughs> I, for one, have no reason to use those catchphrases. Since I'm a married man. Loyal <coughs> to his gorgeous, brilliant, and perfect wife. <coughs> Thank fucking God. <laughs> I thought I'd never see the day when the notorious womanizer Alexander... Callahan was whipped. Fuck off, Giovanni. Leave him alone, Ralphie. Fine. Will you please give me her number? Are you just going to drink all of my juice, sir? Because I would have liked to enjoy my own juice. Fine, but you... Uh, but just know... Well, just so you know, Cleo's not looking for a fuck buddy. You okay? <coughs> um, for the rest of the day, everyone sees Alex really angry about his outfit. Alex took the insults like a champ. I felt a little bad since it was my fault he was getting teased. But Alex didn't seem it. But it. Uh, but Alex didn't seem too phased from all the insults. The day went. Hey, hey, are you okay? All right. The day went by relatively fast, and soon it was nighttime. Can I please take this off? Uh, take off. Wait, take this outfit off. I suppose. Thank motherfucking God. I can never get tired of looking at Alex's perfectly sculpted chest. He has a hard. He uh he was he was as hard as. He has a hard chiseled six pack. That's. All muscle and no fat. Here, okay, here, you're stressing me out. Sorry. You want that? No? Okay. His chest has a, a gorgeous golden tan and a happy trail starting at the bottom of his belly button and leading down to his. You checking me out, princess? A little bit. Alex, stop putting on, putting on a strip show. I'm putting on my pajamas. Pajamas uh, consist of more clothing than just boxers, Callahan. You should be happy that I'm uh, at least wearing boxers. <laughs> I 
I usually like to sleep naked. Mm, I can feel Alex's body heat radiating from to me. Oh my god, I know y'all hear this loud, thirst, bucket ass drinking. No, it's nothing left in that cup. Uh oh. My heart rate picks up tremendous <coughs> speed. My chest feels like it's aching. My body starts to tingle and butterflies start to swarm in my abdomen. God damn it, why did I always feel like this when Alex came close to me? Alex slowly drags his eyes down the length of my body before giving me one of his signature sexy smirks. You you checking me out, Callahan? Hell yeah, you're so fucking beautiful. <laughs> I'm wearing a baggy t-shirt and shorts. So, you're still the most beautiful woman I've ever laid eyes on. Okay, kid. Calm down. Alex placed his hand on both sides of my cheek. I can feel... I can feel the heat rise into my cheeks. My heart beats faster. I want to kiss you so badly, Valentina. And why don't you? Alex <laughs> indirectly chases the outline of my lips with his thumb. Because if I kiss you, I don't think I could restrain myself. Maybe I don't want you to restrain yourself. Okay, alright. Good. Really? That's all you have to say is good? Before I could finish my sentence, Alex's soft lips were on my. My heart was beating so fast, I'm afraid it's going to jump out of my chest. Alex uh, kisses me slowly and tenderly. As he strokes my cheeks with his thumb. Lost in the moment, I start to kiss him back. I uh, wrap my hands around the back of Alex's neck and pull him closer to me. His tongue slowly enters my mouth and dances with my own. Alex starts kissing me faster, harder. He kisses me like he's trying to consume me. I kiss him back with a small, with the same passion and yearning he and he and like yearning he gives me. He frantically removes his hand around <laughs> my waist um, and under my shirt. Oh, okay. Well, Alex picks me up without breaking our kiss. I wrap my legs tightly around his waist as he lies us down onto the bed. Alex slips my shirt over my head and starts kissing down my neck. Every kiss he plants on my neck lights my my body on fire. I arch my body towards him, desperate to get closer to him. Alex rips my bra and shorts from my body in a passionate haze. All right. Damn, that was actually really hot. Did you just rip my bra? You got a problem with that, baby? <laughs> I like that bra. <laughs> Please, you like me ripping your bra. I couldn't lie about that. Shit, I was just messing with you. Did you actually think that it was hot? Just kiss me, Callahan. I'm going to do more than kiss you, Valentina. He plants a, a sexy kiss on my lower abdomen. <laughs> <laughs> then he smirks at me with a devilish gleam in his eyes. Tonight, you're mine. Is he about to eat the box though? That's what I want. That's what I, I want to know. So, we they didn't have sex, but they basically did everything else. Winky face. So he ate the box, bitch. Ah. <laughs> Back to the story. <laughs> Next morning, <laughs> my head rested on a serious, hard and warm object. It smelled like a mixture of spices and uh, lemongrass and pure man. I snuggled closer, close, uh, closer to the warm object, attempting to get warmer. A muscular <coughs> arm wrapped against my waist pulled me closer. Wait, why was I cold? I opened my eyes and looked down at my body. I'm my naked body. Oh shit, I was naked. And I was snuggling against Alex, who was also naked. Events from last night flashed over my eyes. Uh, Alex and I didn't sleep with each other, but <laughs> we basically did everything else. We spent the whole night exploring each other's bodies. Oh my god, did I actually let him touch me there? <laughs> 
And did I actually put my mouth on his? Oh, girl, you were slobbing on my mouth. Oh, fucking hell. I could already feel my cheeks burning of embarrassment. I angled my face upward and glazed at Alex's sleeping profile. He looks so peaceful. <laughs> Long black eyelashes rest against his eyelids. His expression is relaxed and tr uh, uh he looks sort of boyish, almost adorable. Okay, stop kid, what the hell? I never thought I would use the words adorable to describe Alex. I let my eyes make their way down to Alex's hard muscular body. Damn it. Um not out. Wait, not I was blushing again. Not I was blushing again. <laughs> I better stop checking Alex out before he wakes up and catches me. I look up at his face again and I'm surprised to see Alex's emerald green eyes staring at me directly. Val, Alex, were you checking me out again? What? What? No. I mean, it's perfectly fine. I know you can't resist drooling over my body. Yeah, more like gagging. <laughs> Like you did last night. Oh! <laughs> Bitch, you tried it. I stare at Alex with disbelief <laughs> as he wiggles his eyebrows at me. I, you're, you're sexy. I know, babe. <laughs> I'll turn away from Alex to hide my embarrassment and humiliation. I can't believe he just said that. I can't believe he just said that either. Pal, I was just teasing you. I'm sorry, my girl. I fixed it. See? See what? What did you fix? <laughs> Alex pulls me closer to him and starts trailing kisses down my back. Well, down the back of my neck and shoulder. I start to giggle and he smiles against my neck. Forgive me, I suppose. We should probably start getting out of bed. I can't believe uh, he said that. So, so nice weather we're having, huh? <laughs> we're going to have to talk about it eventually, Valentina. Do you regret last night? No, not at all. It's just, what does it mean for us? <laughs> well, we are married. What we did is perfectly normal in the marriage. Yeah, but our marriage was completely different than normal marriages. If you're wondering whether things will get awkward between us, they won't. But the things that haven't last night uh, will be repeated. What? Last night, I have, <laughs> I have no words to describe last night. And judging by your response, I think you feel the same way. <laughs> Don't get shy on me now, Mangra. Uh-huh. Oh, see, I see it now. Okay, I see what they were talking about. Um, what are we doing, Alex? I don't know, but I sure as hell not going to stop. <laughs> I think last night could uh, be the start of something. I don't know. I'm really bad at vo vocalizing my feelings, Val. But last night, uh, last night was very special to me. You get me? Yeah, I get you. It was special for me, too. <clears throat> um, damn it, my father's calling me for a meeting. We'll talk about this later, okay? Well, what was that for? I felt like kissing you. You're too beautiful to resist. Uh, go to your training, Mangra. I'll see you this afternoon, Mangra. Um, Alex can be so sweet sometimes. I think Alex and I could possibly have a real relationship. No, you don't fucking say. Alex was at a meeting today to discuss how uh, to deal with the Russians' attack, so he couldn't train me. He sent someone else to help me train. I wonder who it is. Crazy girl. Italian girl. <laughs> Yana, <laughs> what are you doing here? Alexander said you need help training. It's been a while since uh, I've seen Yona. Oh, I think the last time I talked to her was at my engagement party when she saved me from the en encounter with the mask man. <clears throat> if 
Fuck it, Alex. He's always making my life a living hell. Oh yeah, there's a masked man, there's a masked man. Who are you? Um, do not marry Alexander. Okay, I'm not gonna repeat that. Who the hell needed a fucking flashback? God damn. It should have fucking been optional. It's been so long. How who, how are you? Murderous, sadistic, the usual. Oh, okay. She's fucking crazy. What are you here? Oh, wait, wait. If you're here, does that mean Jade is here too? Yeah, she wanted to tag along. Oh, Jade was here. She's, she most likely only came to seduce Alex. Alex and I had a... Wonderful time last night. It felt like the beginning of a real relationship. Would Jade ruin it for us? God, I hate that bitch. No offense or anything since she's your sister and all. I do not consider Jade my sister. Oh. Are you ready to begin? <laughs> Damn. Yana and I trained for hours. She taught me how to aim and throw a knife, which I found out I'm really actually good at. She said we'll focus on my techniques with knives more since that seemed to be my choice of weapon. It's supposed to be weapon of choice, y'all. Um, soon my training ended, so I sought out Alex. Oh my god, this bitch. You need to leave, Jay. If Valentina sees you here, she'll get upset. I don't want my wife upset. <clears throat> Alex, you and I both know I don't uh wait, you don't give a shit you don't give a fuck about Valentina. <laughs> Just give me one night. I remind you of all the fun we had while we were together. We were never together, Jay. Hell, I, we only slept with each other twice. I won't have you upsetting my wife. It's about time you left. you got to be kidding me. I just... Wait. I leave Alex alone for just a few hours and he's already had another hole on him. This It was getting more and more tiring to fight... Off all the girls that flirt with him. And I was getting scared he would actually accept one of their advances. <clears throat> Val. Do you mind Alex and I were having a conversation? What the hell? I was just telling you to leave. We both know you don't mean it, baby. <laughs> like hell, I don't leave, Jade. I don't want to see... Uh, well, I won't tell you again. It won't be long before he finds his way <laughs> in my bed again. Be careful. Just leave, Jay. Animals aren't allowed in the house, anyhow. I'm sorry about her. I honestly didn't know she was coming. It's okay, Alex. No, it's not. I can see it in your face. Seriously, it's okay. How was your meeting? My father wants to attack the Russians tomorrow. What? what? Tomorrow? One of my sources says that, uh, wait, one of my sources has informed me that Nikolai will be at one of, uh, his compounds tonight checking his inventory. Ouch! Me and four other men are going to break into the compound and kill Nikolai along with his top man. It's time to end this view once and for all. <clears throat> but it seems so dangerous, Alex. Five people against all of Nikolai's top men? I don't like this. I don't like it at all. The Russians crossed the line when they broke into our home and attacked you. It wasn't my idea to sneak attack the Russians. It was my father. He had enough of Nikolai. Okay, would you stop? Besides, I don't have a choice. My father, as my father, uh, under as my father's underboss, I have to go. What if they find out about the attack? There's no way the Russians could. Get the hell. Okay, here. Move your ass. Because you're stressing me out. There's no way the Russians going to know about the, uh, going to know about the sneak attack. Only, the only people at the meeting were your father, my, your brother, my father, and Fidel. And there's no, no way any of the men 
uh, could be spies. I don't have a good feeling about this, Alex. Something wasn't right. For the moment, Alex, uh, announced his plan. My heart plummeted into my stomach. Could Fidel be, you know, Fidel could be the nigga with the green contacts. This plan wasn't going to work. I just knew it. Do you trust me, Val? Yes. Then trust that I'll come home to you. Do you promise? I promise. The way things are going with us, there's no way in hell I'm going anywhere. Ew, stop eye-fucking each other. It's nauseating. Hypocrite, you're always undressing Fidel with your eyes. Shut up, Valentina. Why are you here, Rosalind? Um, Ros Rosalind. Uh, to talk to you. You want to talk to me. Ha, funny. I came here to talk to Alex. I just wanted to know if Fidel told you about the green context. Green context? What green context? Green context? I didn't uh, see a box. Wait, I didn't see a box slip out of the masked man's pocket that night. I was attacked. But if that's true, why would Fidel keep it from Alex? It probably wasn't that important then. Well, if you need anything, just ask. That would be unlikely. Conversations with you and my sister are the worst. <laughs> Your sister is a bitch, Anna. I wonder why she's so uptight all the time. It is Fidel's ass. It gotta be Fidel's stinking ass. <sighs> I'm glad we could hang out today. Me too, babe. Y'all know I hate flashbacks, girl, and I don't want to see this shit. I don't give a fuck why Rose ass act like she act. Jay, what are you doing? We've been dating for almost two weeks, Rosalind. Don't you think it's time we had sex? What, bitch? I, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Don't be such a prude, Rosalind. I could find someone else to satisfy my needs. You wouldn't like that, would you? Um, I know I... Well, you know I love you, right, babe? Bitch, please, yes. Do you love me, too? You know I love you. Then let's make love. Then, then let me like make love to you. I... Knock, knock. Valentina. Rosa, are you awake? Make her go away. But she's my baby sister. So you're picking her over me. I'm not picking her over you, Jay. She's my little sister. I can't ignore her. Rosa, I was wondering if you wanted to watch... What's going on here? Have you heard of knocking, little girl? I did knock, but no one answered. Are you deaf or something? You know, if Rosalind wasn't here right now, I would have punched you in the face. Jay? Oh, yeah? Well, if Rosalind wasn't here right now, I would have kicked you in your dick. In the dick. Valentina. Sorry. My mistake. You don't even have a dick. I could kick. <laughs> you fucking little bitch. Okay, that's enough. Look, Rosalind, I'm going to go. Are you going to hang out with the other girls? I don't know. It depends on how my uh, night goes. I might even get lucky tonight since you wouldn't put out. Rosa, I think you should go, Valentina. But, look, I'm not in the mood to talk to you right now. Just leave, okay? Valentina? Oh, yeah. I lost you for a second there. You okay? Um, yeah, I'm sorry I spaced out. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, what do you want to do for the rest of the afternoon? I don't know. Watch a movie, take a nap, have sex. Nice try, but not today, buddy. Damn, a man can only dream. Having withdrawals from last night? <laughs> Hell yeah, one night with you got me addicted to your body. I'm itching to have you naked in my bed again. In fact, what Alex quickly picks me up, throws me over his shoulder, and starts walking towards our room. Alex, what are you doing? Change of plans. I'm taking you to bed. I've been fantasizing about last night all day, and I think it's about time to, I make my dreams come true. You've been fantasizing about me, pervert? <laughs> I know for a fact that you've been fantasizing about me, too. 
Baby, you got me there. J just shut up and take me to bed, Kelly. You don't have to tell me twice, Mon Cry. Mon Cry. Mon Cry. And it's a secluded place. Okay, are you positive the Callahan's and Giovanni's are planning to kill me tonight? Or tomorrow? Yes, the plan is to attack you while you're expecting the goods at our compound. What? Well, Le Levi, it looks like you're going to have to kill Alex tomorrow. But I thought I had more time. You really have no position to argue with me. Remember what we can do to your daughter? Why can't you just have the guy in the mask do it for you? Because if he's caught, it'll rule everything we work for. Then get one of your men to do it for you. Now, why would I do that when we've got a, a world-renowned model, Alex, uh, I mean, Alex, Levi McAdams here to help? Why? Why me? Don't worry. It'll all be revealed in due time. Um, I got you some more green contacts and blonde hair. Don't drop your contacts again. It would ruin everything if Alex and Valentina found out you were the masked man. Don't worry. They had no idea it could be me. Hair dye and colored contacts can make you a Different person. Both of you should be prepared because by tomorrow, I want Alexander Callahan dead. Sorry, I'm so sorry, Valentina. I want to know who the fuck this mask ass man is. I think for day, I think it's Fidel to be honest about the situation, y'all. I just think that's who it is. 